Prince says, Sir, what would happen if one had an ailment like Alzheimer's disease and you start to forget the things that you learned in life? What's your stance on that? For God's sake, are you trying to test me? <laughs> because somehow I have that disease right now. It came to me. I can't remember what question you asked. So we move on to the next one. <laughs> Alzheimer's disease sometimes, if it's faked, it's to your advantage. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember long time ago when I was very young, a kid, and um, my father was always a busy man and he was always into reading newspaper or, you know, books or, you know, doing his things. He was a very educated man. He spoke five, six languages. He had a PhD in law and I always looked up to him. Um, and he's passed away six years ago. And yet, <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and I would just constantly ask him something or wanted something or wanted permission for something or, you know, nagging him or whatever. <laughs> he would just continue to read his newspaper and he would not hear what he didn't want to hear. And then if I kept going and he would finally say, what, son? <laughs> I think that was his choice of having Alzheimer even then when nobody knew about Alzheimer research. So he would pretend, uh, I think, that, or he was so focused in his things that he had tuned things out. And that is a blessing. And that's a way to deal with something. So right now, Prince, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Since it's not a real situation, you're just, you know, very enthused in figuring things out I think if that would ever happen there was a movie that somebody would forget everything that happened the next day so her husband kept videoing the day before and the next day they would start the day with her watching the video and then continuing on so some excerpts of it so she can remember. So I hope that will never happen for anybody. <laughs>